Good afternoon, guys. Just working, bringing you a very quick update on Bitcoin. Hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. Uh, we're looking at Bitcoin to the U.S. dollar. This is the four-hour chart on Coinbase. And last time we spoke, guys, Bitcoin was consolidating right on top of this $3,800 support. I told you guys that it looked like it was getting ready to move. In fact, if we come over here and we look at our... Uh, uh, Bollinger Bands here again. This is on the four hour guys. We can see the Bollinger Bands were just tightening or uh, were, were, were tightening so so tight guys It's very rare. Do you see them this tight guys? And we also had the 821 and 55 day EMA all converging right on top of one another guys This is just a formula for price um, uh, Moving price making a larger move now. We did end up breaking down. Unfortunately uh, Price came back down found some support right around 36 uh, 70 ish somewhere thereabouts guys just above this 200 day moving average on the four hour chart if we come over here and we look at the daily looking at the daily chart guys we can see that that did break below that 21 day ema on the daily chart i always tell you on the daily chart this 21 day ema is a very good indicator of a short-term momentum um, and the fact that we have had this daily candle now breaking down below this 21 day EMA. If this candle does close below the 21 day EMA, in my opinion, that's gonna be a very, very bearish sign. Now I would expect there to be at least some support on this 50 day moving average. That's gonna be somewhere around 36.30 ish, somewhere thereabouts. Zooming back over here on the, uh, this is again on the four hour chart. I wouldn't be surprised if we did see price temporarily spiking back up, possibly testing 37, um, uh, 37.50 to 3,800. Little quick juke right back up, in fact, if we zoom in here on the four hour um, and we look at since this prior low here, guys, what do we have? Obviously, price created a lower low there. Um, if we look at uh, this uh, four hour MACD, look at the histogram, histogram created a higher low. Um, this being from that massive drop, obviously a downtrend, um, that would be bullish divergence and that would suggest price may end up coming back up for a short term retesting. And again, I would expect what was support to act as resistance. Price comes back up, possibly hits 3,800 and then bouncing right back down. Um, we, we can see that the four hour RSI slightly oversold, maybe just peaking back up above now, but for the most part oversold. Again, suggesting a possible temporary rally. Excuse me. Um, but again, guys, I would expect this, what was support to act as resistance. In other words, if price does end up breaking up, I would expect it to break right back down. Where is it going to find support? I'd be looking for support. Again, we pointed out that 50-day moving average. <clears throat> on the daily right about here that would be somewhere around 3600 uh, 3750 or excuse me 3600 to 3650 but i can see price breaking down wicking down below that so i'm going to be looking for support between 3600 and 3550 um, we can see that at 3550 acted as a strong support in the past um, so i would expect it to again act as support so i can see a, i can see a quick scalp trade here where price breaks down wicks down below 3600 to 3550 and then comes right back up now i would get in and I would get out because overall, the I, I do think probability is favoring the downside here. In the short term, we may see a quick spike, a drop right back down, nice little spike back up. That's where I would look for that quick scalp trade targeting 3750 to 3800, and I'd get right back out, guys, because I do think overall, unfortunately, um, the fact that we have since our nice little bullish break up here on February the 8th, we've had this nice little uh, little run here coming back up, testing 4120. This zone, I can't stress how important this is. How, how how important this zone is and between 44,000 and 4120. We have to get above this zone, guys. And the fact that we've been unable to, and we only really tested it one time. I mean, I don't mean by a wick, guys. For those new viewers, for you guys that have been watching me for a while, you understand what I'm saying. But for the new viewers, I don't mean a, a break above. We've wicked above it a few times here in the past. We need to see a decisive break above 4120. By decisive, I mean a daily candle, both opening and closing above 4120. If that does happen, guys, that's going to be a very, very big deal. But until that happens, we can see that we've been rejected so many times here. Um, and even though we've had a nice increase in volume over the last couple of weeks here, guys, it's not been enough to even test more than once this 4120. So I do think probability wise, we are coming back down. I would expect, um, even though we might get a couple bounces along the way overall, let me zoom out here on the weekly. And zooming out here on the weekly, guys, overall, as I said, we are still in a very bearish trend. I know you guys, I, I'm gonna, and I'm going to say this until I'm blue in the face because I want you guys, I, I want to protect you guys from all the FOMO that's out there, um, and especially for the new viewers that may not have seen this. This is your daily FOMO, FOMO cure. And looking at this weekly chart, we can see that the trend is extremely bearish. And as we zoom in here to the uh, to the uh, latest price movement over the last couple months here, um, we, there's no question that we can see, and I pointed this out before, but just to, uh, just to reiterate, um, if 
especially if we cut these wicks, so there's no question that we're getting a series of lower highs. And again, I know I realize I'm cutting this one wick out, taking a little bit of liberty there, but uh, but you know uh, it, the overall trend, there's just there, there's no disputing it. We're getting consolidation here um, within a series of lower highs higher lows, again, approaching the apex of a wedge. And anytime you get to an apex here, um, you expect a larger move to come. In this case, we are in a downtrend. The trend is your friend, again, to be extremely cliche. But, um, so in other words, until that trend is broken, probability favors the trend, as I always say, guys. So that means very likely price is going to break down. And looking at this, guys, I mean, looking at this from a, a, a larger point of view, zooming out here on the weekly chart, what does this look like to you? I mean, obviously, it's very obvious, and I mean, for it's very obvious for any uh, any trader looking at it like this. But if you're new to this, this would be what it's called. It looks to me like a, a bearish pendant, um, and that would always suggest price is going to end up breaking down. Where is it going to break down? I'd be looking between 3,000 and 2,500. I've pointed this out in the past uh, many times. There should be a very solid support between 3,000 and 2,500. This is a very strong buy zone for me. I will ladder in buys between 3,000 and 2,500 uh, fairly heavy, um, and I will be targeting. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And I will be looking for a nice quick bounce off of there, guys. And I'm going to be targeting 3,600 for my first target. And above that, of course, 4,000. Um, these are the, those will be my targets I'll be in and I'll be out. And again, until we do break above that zone there, guys, the trend is your friend. Um, so, But I do expect a nice little bounce off that zone, guys. And I do expect probability-wise price to end up breaking down here. For the benefit of the new traders here, this is what I'm talking about, a bearish pennant. You can see it right here on the chart, and you can see that that just matches almost perfectly, just so I can give you guys, uh, um, the, the new traders here, somewhat of a visual as to what I am talking about. All right. So again, targeting somewhere around 33,000 to 2,500 as a in the next few months, that would be a uh, a logical target to me. Doesn't mean that it has to happen. Just means that's what it's looking like as of right now. Now that can all be invalidated if we get a nice little break up and if we take out decisively 41.20. The second that happens, guys, I'm going to start to get very, very, very bullish. But the fact that we've been unable to do that as of yet, guys, again, it, it, in my opinion, the, the longer we get away from that testing of that 41.20, uh, the longer we get away from the last time we've tested that the more probability wise this is just going to fizzle out like every other um every other small little rally we've had here this is going to likely fizzle out and price is going to likely just end up collapsing back to our support zone down there all right, looking back at the daily chart, guys, this is looking at the daily RSI. I pointed this out before. Um, and, you know, for those traders out there, this is a very obvious looking pattern. What does it look like? Obviously, this looks like a nice uh, classic little head and shoulders pattern. Um, the uh, the uh, the right shoulder here being you know a little bit less than what I would like to see here, but nonetheless the pattern is there, and that that does leave open the possibility for price to end up collapsing down here. Again, I'd be looking for a uh, a drop to about 35.50 ish, somewhere thereabouts. If it drops below 35.50, I think a quick drop to 3400 is very very likely. But I pointed this out last time, guys, and this certainly is still on the table. Zooming back in on the four hour guys, the fact that I, I don't think I pointed this out. To, sorry, guys, I'm getting older here. As I get older, my memory goes here, but we're starting to wrap things up. But the point of pointing this out, guys, my point is looking at the uh, ah, sorry, got the wrong thing there. Looking at the this latest drop here in price, we can see the price came down, dropped as low as about 37.15, found some support and then just bounced up above off of that. I'm pointing that out because as we see this latest drop here, it's not insignificant that not only did it drop below this prior low here, which we had seen a wick right here, but of course the bulls pushed it right back up. But we dropped below this wick and we continued to trade below this uh, this prior low from this letter prior drop here. Um, now again, I, in short term, I can see a scenario where we come back up and retest 3,800, but this is a very, very bearish sign that uh, that we had dropped the low and started trading below this, uh, this prior low from this drop. That is a very, very bearish sign in my opinion. Again, in the short term, I can see a price coming back up, testing 3,800, and then breaking back down to that 36 to 3,550. I can see another little bounce right back up off of that zone. I told you guys, a quick scalp trade off between 36 
3600 and 3550 um, laddering into a quick scalp trade targeting 3700 to maybe 3750 if you're very risky 3800 but i would get in and i would get out and i would have a very tight stop loss there guys knowing that if we break below 3550 it's going to be a very quick drop to at least 3400 this zone between 3400 and 3250 in my opinion none of this is financial advice this is just my opinion guys take it for what it's worth so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap things there if you have any comments questions suggestions please let me know in the comment section below as always would appreciate an upload if you have enjoyed this content. Until next time, guys, please trade safe. Take care of yourselves. This is working. Signing out.